sit in a preschool classroom and conduct a naturalistic observation of the Montessori teaching philosophy. And I learned a lot in those eight days of observation. I learned a lot about the Montessori philosophy. I researched it before I went in, but there was still so much that I had to learn. During those observations, I learned about children and just the way they are. And that sometimes the Montessori philosophy is not the best option for some kids. Some kids work better in a different environment, and that's okay, because kids are quirky, and kids do what they're going to do. Psychology can explain why a child does what they do. Psychology can explain a child's developmental stage. Psychology can do a lot. What I learned about myself is that kids are great, but maybe working with them is not the career route that I want to choose. So I'm going to go into a psychology program and keep my options open. Because even through the research that I've done about the Montessori philosophy, which is heavily based upon psychology, is that there is so much that goes into teaching children and not all that has to do with children. So all the research that I did was about kids in later stages of life, early childhood to childhood to adolescence to beyond adolescence. There's a lot of areas in psychology that can apply to teaching. Maybe I want to teach, maybe I don't. But I did learn that maybe working with kids isn't for me, but psychology definitely is. I still love psychology and I'm going to continue to pursue it, at least for the near future. So. Overall, I felt like this capstone experience was very valuable. It taught me a lot about psychology and myself. And what really also put things in perspective for me was watching these children play with each other. That they have friends and they have peers, as I do, but I'm a lot older than them and life is a bit more complicated but it's still just as complicated for them too. Observing those kids day after day made me think about where they're gonna end up when they're my age and in high school. And if what they're learning right now is really going to affect them. I did a lot of thinking about life and about how we as a society prepare our children for their future and for our future because our future will be in the hands of the next generation and I feel like with the right teachers and the right programs if every child can find their place we will be in good hands. <laughs>